Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out the new Zoeva Authentic Skin Natural Luminous Foundation. I have the shade 030 Ambition. Yeah, I'm going to test this out today with along with a few new products like the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer and the e.l.f. Um, Glow Up Primer Serum. Uh, I'm going to prime my face first and then do my liquid liner off camera. Let's go in with this Petit Primo. And it's a, this is a lumina luminating one. Illuminance. Lum luminous. <laughs> I cannot speak today. And then, let's see. It's a nice, soft, kind of balmy texture. Ooh, and then you just like press in slightly and you get some product. I'm just kind of pressing it in, pushing it into the skin, um, where I would have some pores, and also I'm going to put some on my chin, and a little bit on my forehead. It feels really nice on the skin, it has kind of, um, I don't know, like, very kind of... Very, like, it's very illuminating, but I think the base of it is a little bit, I don't want to say greasy to throw people off, but it has some kind of slip to it, which makes it so much, so easy to apply. I'm going to use the new e.l.f. Glow Up Primer Serum, and it has a cute little pump bottle. So, I'm just going to untwist the cap, and then... Do that a few times. I'm gonna apply some on my cheeks and remove my forehead and sides of my chin. And just kind of pop that in. Ooh, it feels very cooling on the skin, very light, um, which is good. I'm just kind of pressing it in to. It has, it has a slight scent, it's, I can't describe it, it feels, it smells very, um, fresh and clean, it has like, like kind of a clean scent to it, I don't know, I don't know, it smells good though, it doesn't smell horrible at all, and it gets tacky too, so that's good for keeping on that makeup. I'm gonna do my eyeliner off camera and then we'll get right to it. So I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, so I've got my liner on as you can see. Um, I just went for a nice kind of small wing today and I think they are almost like the most similar I've ever gotten them I think. I'm just gonna go in with this Zoeva foundation and I'm gonna use my beauty blender that's slightly damp. And it has a pump, which is nice. Hopefully this matches. I'm just going to shake it up a bit. Shake, shake, shake. And then I'm going to pump some on my hand and see what the consistency is. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's quite light, so I think this will match. Um, it's quite runny, actually. Although it's a bit thick. Um... It's kind of like in the middle, so I'm just going to dot it on my face. I'm just going to use the side of it, like I always do, and press into the skin. It's looking pretty good, actually. After I let my primer sit for a bit while I did my um, liner, put some my forehead and then a little bit on my nose and I did wash my face this morning um, and moisturize sorry my hair is being weird today I don't really see a nice kind of um, glowy look to it um, it was clinging to a bit of my dry patches, um, but you know what, it definitely looks better than what it did yesterday, what my other foundation did yesterday. 
All right, let's see if I can build this up with the rest of the product on product product on my hand. I know this is just a foundation test, but I do want to give you um, kind of an update on what's of my like keto journey um so far i've kind of i've kind of hit a little plateau um but i did lose an extra two pounds when i weighed myself yesterday so i'm down eight pounds from my starting weight which is amazing and it's only been hmm i think it's been like when did we start maybe like two weeks or something I don't know, I'll have to look at my calendar. I'll put like something down below, say like how many weeks it's been or how many days or whatever. So, all right, let's see how um, two, two thin layers does. That looks better. <laughs> okay. So for this being $14 and half off of the original price, I think this is a really good foundation and honestly I think I got a really good shade match and usually I'm like horrible at shade matching myself but I think I did pretty well so far I am liking this foundation so that's good that's done um, I'm gonna do concealer I'm just gonna use the one I used yesterday the elf hydrating camo concealer in fair rose under the eyes. Um, I'm gonna go off camera and do the rest of my face and then I'll check in when I'm finished. Okay, so I finished the rest of my face and I used that Catrice um, glowing setting mist. And I'm going to use this new Ma uh, Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Just because I want something on my eyes. And it has a nice silicone brush head, which I love. And this is in the shade Black, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's black. A nice formula. Um, and it curled my three lashes that I have. Um, and... Yeah, I never do uh, mascara on my bottom lashes because I don't like that spidey look. So, I do love this mascara. It's really good. Alright, so that's a finished makeup with the eyes. I just did, um, I didn't do any brows because I just, I don't know, maybe I'll do some in a little bit. But I just did some blush and then a highlight and then set it with my um, glowy fixing spray. And it looks honestly really good. With like my little my liner, which looks so good. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself because I can never get them to match perfectly. This is just my face for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe if you want to become part of the family. And I will also do a check-in later in the day and then also before I take this makeup off. I'll see you guys in a little bit for check-in. Hi, editing Maddie here. Um, this is a kind of follow up of <clears throat> excuse me what my foundation looks like I ignore my hair it's a bit crazy I just went outside it's very windy but anyway um this is what it looks like um let's see I applied I think it was about close it was close to one o'clock maybe it was like 12 30 12 45 when I kind of did my makeup so it's been um let's see hold on check my phone it's 6 30 right now so it's been um a bit less than six hours since I did my makeup and it looks very good it still looks really um luminous and dewy and smooth and um not too oily which I mean this is like perfect and yeah I love it I love this foundation it wears super well um and I think the primer helps as well that kind of um glow up primer serum by wet n wild i want to say it was no it was elf so yeah this is what it looks like i will check it again before i take it off 
in a few hours. Okay, see you then. All right, hi guys. Um, just doing a check-in before I take off my makeup. It's a little bit past 9.50 p.m. Um, I just want to see how my foundation is doing and holding up. Um, my hair is crazy, so please <laughs> pay no mind. But let's see. Hmm, I do like really like oily right in like the T-zone here. Um, starting to look a little bit um, dry and kind of cakey around my smile lines. Um, and obviously, I've said this before in my other uh, foundation test video, but it does wear uh, really quickly on the side of my nose because of the nose pieces on my glasses. And then it's kind of breaking up around my nostrils as well. Everywhere else looks really good. I love how this foundation has that kind of luminous, dewy look to it. That is it for this video. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.